Hi, my name is Joni Eisinger. Welcome to my channel. If you'd like to learn more about me, please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com. I live in North Central New Jersey, and I do individual sessions for folks who are interested in learning more about their stuck points, their divine purpose, any questions on the table. You'll find out more about me if you do go to my website. So this is part two of my addictions series. This will be about smoking, e-cigs, vaping, as well as gambling. I'm doing an eight part series because I feel that it's time. This does not take the place of mental health counseling, seeing a physician, going to an ER, rehab, detox, 12 step meeting, speaking with your sponsor or calling a hotline. I used to be an LCSW in New York City for 10 years. I was a drug and alcohol counselor as well as a psychiatric social worker. So with those 10 years combined, along with what I do now, I do feel that I'm able to go in and combine that former professional expertise with the, the healing and psychic experience that I have now to offer more information to you regarding addictions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please do share this with folks that you think might benefit from this, as well as other videos that I do. Like it and also comment below if you find that this resonates. I am taking requests for other addictions that I might not be covering in the eight part series. So please comment below and I would appreciate that because there are so many, I might have missed some in my tabulating what I need to go over. So I'm going to put my Joni aside and I'm gonna bring in the highest of Christ's light, the enlightened ones. They would include ascended masters, archangels and angels, departed ones, spirit guides, elementals, consciousnesses, star beings. So here we go. So the first question that spirit has for you is when is it going to be enough? When, when will you stop? When is enough enough? So I'm not sure how many of you that are watching know about limits and knowing when to stop something. So we're talking about cigarettes and gambling. Okay. But those of you that are engaged in these activities, do you have difficulty knowing when to stop with other things? Do you know about limits? Do you know your pressure points? Do you know when you need to concede, compromise, give in, let go, lighten up? They're already working on you, so have a sip of water. That'll help flush any negative energies through the physical body. What I get is for some of you, you weren't told growing up when to stop. You had a free for all. It was just running out in the playground and no one blew the whistle and said to you, hey, you might trip, slow down. Where you had limits that were set for you, where you were told no, or you were, you had a gauge, someone was regulating you in terms of uh, of what you were saying and doing in order to you for you to then be safe and learn how to set limits for yourself. So in your having full reign where you were allowed to do whatever you wanted to do, it became difficult for you to learn how to rein yourself in when you got older. And now it's like a free for all. So some of you are chimneys, other you, others of you might be compulsive gamblers because no one ever took the time out to say, hey, have you thought about that? That that might not be so good for you. I really think that you should stop. Or a parent saying, no, don't do that. Stop. Enough. So spirit is asking for you to take a look at that. Many times, a lot of the things that I bring up in these videos might entail your seeing a therapist who can work with you on a 3D level practically regarding getting the tools that are needed in order for you to change your ways. 
I recommend seeing a therapist via word of mouth, if possible. Going in regarding the free-for-all and do you know when it is enough? So a lot of you feel out of control and spirit is saying, tame the beast. This involves work on your part that in your chugging along, whether it's puffing or betting, that you are almost beastly, that it's like this. It's like chugging and chugging and you just keep going and going and it's, it's laborious. It takes a lot of effort for you to do this and it hurts and it's a struggle that it that it there's work in being addicted to something that is not for your highest good it's burdensome and you're pushing through layers of smoke and of noise and of crowds and of competition and this is harmful so take a look at what is in your midst how you are pushing through difficulty in order to keep this addiction up, that you're actually, it's as if you have a wall in front of you and you just keep pushing the wall in order to continue your addiction. That requires effort, strength, and the pushing is actually coming back on you and harming you in different ways, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. There are different elves. So I'm getting the elementals that are coming in and there are a lot of elves that are working with you. Little, little beings of the elemental kingdom and they're picking up energies that you've left behind and they're, they're trying to give you more lightness and buoyancy that you're in this heavier state. So there are elves that are around you that like to work with you. And some of you do know, in fact, that there are elves that are part of your network who are trying to keep you upbeat and are doing their due diligence and working very, very nicely, specifically around you to keep you lighter and healthier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in regarding more regarding all of what's been said so far. Your hands. You're working with your hands here, whether it's cigarette or whether it's gambling. There's a lot of hand involvement here, and there's an energy around them that feels dirty to me. Some of you have guilt, and there's a suffering. Some of you have a clenching going on. Others of you wring your hands. Others of you have fists. Some of you have issues with your wrists that there's pain in the joints here. Some of you have swelling in, in the hands and someone's palms don't feel right. They feel hollow and there's a tension in them, tightness in the palms. It's very important to shake them out every now and then. I feel that you bully people. Some of you are being are being bullied or you are bullying others. And this is coming out in this hyper state of needing to smoke or gamble. There's a bullying quality here. I see some of you have memories of being hurt. Some of you were told awful things, awful things. There's a lot of bullying a lot of remarks that are made. And as a result of this bullying, they're suffering and that you are inhaling substances in order to anesthetize yourself of the memories that have been corroding you and others that are doing the gambling. The gambling takes your mind off of what has been said to you. Let's get rid of bullying karma because a lot of the comments that were made by others in your lifetime led you to this compulsion to smoke and or gamble across time and space, forwards and backwards across all generations. Any bullying karma where you were bullied and or you bullied others that led you to addictions of smoking and or gambling, and we ball them all up and you say inside, I forgive myself.
And along with that, with your forgiving yourself, many of you have been making negative self comments to you. I was such a fool. How could I do that? Why did I do that? A lot of self blame. You need to be your best friend. You need to stop blaming yourself for what went on in the past. The past is over. Now we are in the present. You can't change the past, but you're a powerful, powerful being in this moment in the now. You can create your moments in the now and you can envision brighter days in the future. Next step, forgive everyone and everything. There are a lot of folks that are being forgiven right now. There's a lot of war. I see helmets and shooting and pistols from different lifetimes. A lot of people are giving up. Wartime smoking. A lot of issues went on during wartime with the cigarettes. Some of you were told that you had to kill people and that the cigarettes took your mind off of the, the deeds that you did. And that's where forgiving self and other is of the utmost importance regarding clearing this type of karma. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness. Please, all of you, forgive me because I had unforgiveness towards you. Thank God for these life lessons. Have a sip of water. Now for clarification, when we do this karmic work, the release, it doesn't mean that you're just going to stop smoking or gambling. It means that you are releasing yourself from this and other lifetimes where there's unforgiveness. The negative energies, the unforgiveness is released like and that lightens you and it makes it better able for you to consider stopping being addicted and facing the issues that are before you. Let's say that you need to learn how to set limits with yourself or know when is enough. Or if you bully yourself and or other, that now with this more lightness of being, that you are better able to change. Okay, I'm going in again. Seeing what more spirit has for you. And they couldn't do anything but hide. So smoking was one thing that kept them calm and lucid. So if you resonate as being a kept woman, there is a husband that's a stay-at-home dad that feels like a kept man. So for those of you who feel that you're stuck and you're alone, that you're home, that you're listless and you don't feel like you're doing anything of importance, you are. That's for you to identify. That's for another another video, but regarding your being kept and hiding, being alone, not feeling productive, where smoking makes you feel better. Let's get rid of the karma where you put yourself in situations, whether it's this lifetime or others, where you hide, where you remain covert and hidden where you're not doing the greatest bang up job as in other lifetimes and you blame yourself and the self blame gets you stuck. Hence the smoking. We ball up all of those lifetimes across time and space, forwards and backwards across all generations. The kept person who's hiding, who blames self and therefore uses an inhalant e-cig, vape, cigarette, to calm themselves. And you say inside, I forgive myself. There we go. Forgive everyone and everything. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness and thank God for these life lessons. There you go. Good for you. That's huge, huge, and huge. Good for you. I'm going to go into more of the gambling I see some of you are risk takers and that you're doing very risky behavior and that you like to live on the edge. And as a result of living on the edge, the gambling got out of control, that you started and you got a high from it. 
And I get round and round she goes, where it stops, nobody knows. And that that's the thrill of a lifetime, yet you've been in debt for quite a while. And that this is, this is all about risk. This is about taking a gamble, trying out a new way, finding a new way to do something. But there's something where you tripped up, either it's this lifetime or other, where you didn't know when to stop. It was the limit that you were involved in risky behavior and it got to you. It got the best of you. You might have been dared, someone might have dared you to do something risky, and if it doesn't resonate with this lifetime, it might be other, might be another incarnation where you are, where as a result of it not working for your highest good, you blamed self or other, you incurred karma, and there's a bleed through effect over in this lifetime that's got you tripped up and in a gambling jag. going in regarding other situations that people might be in regarding gambling. We have the risk taker. And I also see some of you could be this lifetime or other where you didn't do enough to stop a situation that you feel I could have done more. I could have done more. Why didn't I do that? I could have stopped that. I could have gone in that direction. I didn't do more. I could have stopped that. Self-blame, and that as a result of not putting out an effort, not going, going forward enough that you overcompensated and that you're gambling and that you're doing too much, take, you, you're, you, had, you were too lax and now you're too forceful, you're too much. This is compensating for what you didn't do before. If this resonates so far, fantastic. If it doesn't, I suggest shelving it because it might come to light later on. Some people put conditions on things, the gamblers. Now I'm, I'm specifically talking about gambling, that people are saying to themselves, if I do this, then this will happen. I need to do this in order for this to happen. So you're hooking things in, there are conditions. I gotta do this in order for this to happen. That should occur if I do that. So you've gotten, in, gotten yourself in these jams where you've said things where one thing hinges upon another and the expectations are then involved. And then you're, you're increasing the chances of there being disappointment. So sometimes there are Ponzi schemes. Well, this has to happen in order for this. Well, if I do that, then that. It's like you're jonesing for the next thing and it impinges on other things. And then it's like one thing getting hooked in another and so on and so on. And then there are layers and layers of expectations. And if one isn't met, the whole house of cards, no pun intended, can fall. That would be faulty reasoning, and it would also be very, very risky gambling around certain situations happening in order for other things to happen. We never know when something is going to happen, and spirit oftentimes has it where if we expect that the universe might push back in the other direction, it's when we allow things to unfold and remain in our center, in our present, in our now, that's when miracles tend to happen. Um, I believe it's part of Taoism, T-A-O-I-S-M. Part of the Tao is don't push the river, let it flow. So for those of you that are involved in these risky situations, well, I'm gonna do this and then that's gonna happen. And then with that, that's gonna happen. Kind of like a domino effect where you've got it all laid out with expectations in order to meet the end. You've gone too far ahead. You haven't known when is enough and you need to keep it simple. I'm gonna ball up all the lifetimes across time and space forwards and backwards across all generations of gambling karma that led folks to be in this state today. They were just mentioned here in this video. So for those of you who are identifying with having difficulty with gambling of any kind, taking risks around money and betting, 
We ball up all of these lifetimes of karma and you say inside, I forgive myself. Good. I also see hate. The H word just came out. There are a lot of haters. They're hating people. A lot of people are choosing to take risks because other people have let them down. Now, sometimes that's the case, but a lot of the gamblers are not owning their own stuff and they're projecting it out onto other people. You need to be really clear about what is by your hand and what is by another. If you had expectations that another person was going to save you, that already is a universal no-no. We save ourselves. No one saves us. Next step, forgive everyone and everything. Someone knows in their heart that they have a problem, but they haven't admitted it yet. So when you're ready, you go get help. There are 12 step meetings for you. Gamblers Anonymous, go online. You'll find it. Make a meeting, get a sponsor. Go every day or more if you need to. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness. Please all of you forgive me because I had unforgiveness towards you. Thank God for these life lessons. Have a sip of water. So for those of you that are in a rut regarding gambling and have gotten in a hole, I would call a hotline and I would make a meeting. If you have a money issue, you might not have mental health coverage. You might not have the money for a therapist. Therefore, make a meeting and get a sponsor and for those of you who do have coverage, mental health coverage, find a therapist that preferably specifies in addictions and possibly gambling. They don't have to, but an addictions counselor would be fantastic for you. I'm going to go back in regarding smoking, vaping, e-cig, and gambling. This is a collective reading. Spirit knows who will be watching this video. And if you're watching this for someone else, please pass this thought pass this on if you feel that this would be helpful for them going back in so there's also a lot of self-pity why me why me why me why is a useless question and it won't get you anywhere so you can stop whenever you want to it's normal to ask why but it doesn't get you anywhere I would say from a spiritual perspective, because that's where I'm coming from. This is an earth school. This is a training ground. This is a place where one has many, many opportunities for soul growth. So the why me is, well, because, because you chose to be here in order to learn life lessons. You can turn this around and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I grow as a soul? Why do I do these behaviors? What do I think is the reason why I do this? And if you can come up with answers, there are then solutions to this. Then you can do the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Ask yourself what's in your control and what's not, and let the rest go. If you're having great difficulty, get help. There is a lot of help out there. I believe there's Smokers Anonymous and there's also Gamblers Anonymous and there are mental health professionals. There are smoking cessation programs. I'm not going to be you know, touting the praises of them because I don't know which ones are, are effective, but let your guidance take you to where you need to go. You're a brave soul. You knew before coming into this lifetime that it would be this way. You knew that these were possible outs, smoking, inhalants, and gambling. You knew that this was part of earth school. Some of you pre-birth planned to be addicted, and others of you, it was post-incarnation free will choice that led you to where you are. 
Whatever the case, no blame is necessary because it doesn't do you any good. It doesn't serve any purpose but block energy meridians, which affects you negatively, both emotionally and physically. That's where you could start having more anxiety or depression. That's where you could start having physical ailments if you start blaming yourself. Why me? Why me? Pity, self-blame, regret, shame, embarrassment, guilt. Very important to accept what has occurred up until this moment, forgive yourself, have gratitude for what you do have, and ask yourself, what do you need? What do you need today? If you like writing things down, make a list. If you like making a vision board, find pictures and put them all on a vision board, and that is your vision of the new and improved you going to go in more. This is something spirit wants you to ask yourself. If you're not sure whether you have a problem, you need to ask yourself, can I live without this? Can I walk away from this? Is it possible for me to live without this? And then ask yourself, how do I feel when I consider not doing this anymore? If you go to a place of fear, Chances are you have a problem. Your life will be improved without smoking and gambling. They are lower vibration activities. They also are means to avoid something. They are activities that serve no useful creative purpose as a soul. They numb the mind and the heart and the spirit in general, and they do not move a soul to a higher vibration. Also, these activities thin one's aura, that is the energy field outside of the body, and they increase the chances of one having negative energies enter. I'm going to do a healing for those of you who are watching where this resonates. I call in the highest of the enlightened ones to assist. So there's a beam of light going on each of you, calming the spirit, helping you identify what you need, having you take a look at, the, at your respective suffering what makes you operate the way you do as a result of suffering, what this is all about, and where you could come to terms with how you've come to be where you are today. There are many, many lessons that you have to learn, many, one at a time. Don't feel you have to address them all. And if you don't address them, Please don't belittle yourself because you haven't, because you don't want to, because you're afraid, because you're down, whatever the case. Just know that you're a student here and there are many lessons that are available to you to learn. A lot of people's heads hurt, whether it's migraines, constant ringing in the ear, some of you need sunshine immediately. Some of you need the color purple. That's the crown chakra of the top of your head energy center that connects you with the collective, with all of creation. The color purple will help. So we're adorning you with purple right now, that frequency of purple. If you want to wear purple, you can, but you don't have to. That'll go on for about a week from the time that you watch this video up until about a week's time, seven days, there will be purple that you will be adorned in. I see a magnifying glass. So some of you are examining your polar opposites that you are, you have two sides of you, two faces of you, calm, and bustly, angry, stingy and giving, foolish and smart. Take a look at the way you go back and forth with your polar opposites and see if you could find a middle. See if you could bring yourself down a notch and bring yourself more to center. 
allow yourself to be who you are, you're not allowing yourself to be genuine, authentic you, you're going in two extremes. Some of you need fish, that fish would assist you, eating fish, salmon. Some of you like turkey, halibut, going back to the fish. Some of you are mixing cocaine. Some of you are smoking the cocaine. See my addictions part one video for those of you that are involved in um, illegal substances. But this does also play a part because you're smoking it. Get help. There's help available to you. I'm at the lungs now of those that are the smokers and there is damage. We're working through many layers. Some of you are saying, I'm trying to get it right. I'm trying to get it right. Let's bring that up a notch. If you're trying to get it right, it means you're always trying. What about I am right? I am healing. I am healed. If you're trying, you're always chasing it. You're always one behind the heel. So see if you could change the wording on that because um, words have power. So if we're working with the law of attraction and, and thought creating form, we want to be really specific. So you can change that out. There's a blessed energy that's going into folks' bodies, calming their minds and their, their spirits and their their structures. So I'm seeing it's lungs and blood and nerves and the structure. I'm seeing the structure being worked on, calming. When the smoke happens, it's like be like stoking the fire and I see flames going into the lungs. People need to know that they're burning themselves. Let's get rid of fire karma for the smokers. Any place where you were emolliated, burned, where smoke inhalation got the best of you, where you smoked out people to find them, it was your territory any smoke-related metaphors across time and space, forwards and backwards, across all generations, smoke karma, burned, asphyxiated, smoking people out to find them, being lost in the smoke. where damage to the lungs, damage to the structure occurred. Forgive yourself, forgive everyone and everything. Oh, ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness and thank God for these life lessons. So now I see them billowing. I see the lungs billowing now. They're gonna be working on this right now. They're like bellows. We're going to be working on your lungs for a while. It's going to take some time. Do what you can. If, if it's possible, try not to smoke. Please see if you can quit, whether it's e-cig, vaping, or smoking. Look up popcorn lung, P-O-P-C-O-R-N, lung. This is an illness that can occur from vaping. Many spiritualists talk about issues with the lungs, with breathing, having to do with not being able to live, not being able to um, have enough. I can't breathe. I can't sustain myself. It's too heavy. I can't handle this. I don't have enough air. And that the smoking metaphor might come into play here, that you're, you had such difficulty somewhere, whether it's this lifetime, being oppressed, asphyxiated, and stifled, that the smoking is your way of, of trying to grab that breath, to suck in the air. But it's, it's via um, another vehicle, not through spirit and through your fortitude. It's, it's via an intermediary stick, 
that would assist you in, in getting that breath, being able to handle something and not be overwhelmed. Let's get rid of karma regarding being stifled, asphyxiated, not being able to breathe, get your last breath, feeling overwhelmed, not being able to handle something. Forgive yourself. Forgive everyone and everything. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness and thank God for these life lessons. Have a sip of water. Sorry if I go back and forth between smokers and gamblers. Might be both of you, but now I'm going back to gambling, so I see a lot of horses. So there's horse betting that's going on here and being at the races and that there are people who used to sell horses and that they want to be around them in some way, yet they got involved in the horse racing industry and it got in, there's alcohol and some smoking and then the betting began. But there is an actual love of the animals from other lifetimes, loving the horses. I suggest you uh, finding stables where you can go and help out and do your work there at the stables. There are many, many stables all over where you can be of service and be around your beloved, beloved, beloved animals. If there is any karma for those of you who are at the races and you are stuck and hooked, it might be that you, kill, you had to shoot a horse and take them out of their misery or you left them behind. Um, you might have been in a tribe um, where you had to leave the horses behind. Um, or any other, any other regret, shame, guilt, self-blame, where you, you could have been stampeded and killed by a horse and then you blame the horses. You go back and, and you need to be working through karma with them at the races. Whatever the case, your affinity, your, your draw to the horses that led you to be hooked. Let's get rid of karma across time and space, forwards and backwards, across all generations. We ball up all horse karma. Forgive yourself and forgive everyone and everything. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness and thank God for these life lessons. There's online gambling. It's unique and different. Um, it's insidious and in that people don't know. It's very hidden. People don't know. It's quite anonymous. Some of you are, feel it is so strange that you can't even believe that you're doing it, you're, that you're asking yourself, who am I? I can't even believe that I'm doing this. This is outrageous. This is nuts. This is crazy. You're name calling. Enough of this. Just stop. Okay? You're human. You're having an experience here in earth school, but it's time to address this. Okay? Get help. Definitely get help regarding this. There's help for everyone. There is always help for everyone. Let's see how a lot of you found your, you were surfing and you wanted to see what it would be like. Some of you just fell into it. Some of you pre-birth planned to get involved. Others, it just was happenstance. You're avoiding something. Write down a list of everything that you're avoiding and see what you can do. What is in your control? What you can face? Decisions need to be made. This is your outlet for I would say all of the addictions. People become addicted to things and it's an escape and that people don't want to feel, they don't want to recognize and think and take action. So for those of you who are hiding and doing electronic gambling of any kind, you might even not be doing online. You could be taking a bus out to a casino and no one knows you're going and it's anonymous. However this is, the anonymity that is involved in this, you're hiding and you're not facing what you need to face. Take a look at that. It's very, very important. There are angels that are talking to you and they're offering you the strength. You can succeed. You can get it right. There are steps that need to be taken in order for you to move forward piece by piece by piece, one day at a time. Any gambling karma for those that are online or anonymous, that are hiding, that don't want to deal, they are hiding and avoiding and that it's become some type of a crutch as if, it, as if it were to heal you, but it doesn't. We ball up all the lifetimes across time and space. Forgive yourself. 
forgive everyone and everything. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness and thank God for these life lessons. Have a sip of water. Good. There's regret that's coming up. Mm -hmm. There are the drinkers that are also gambling. Please see my first video regarding alcohol addiction. Make a meeting. Get help. Archangel Michael is with all of you. He has the sword and the shield. The sword is for might. The shield is for protection. He offers you strength and fortitude and blessings. Call upon him whenever you need to. He's there for us all. We'll see if there's anything more that needs to be said. Try your best. So, no one said this was going to be easy, and no one claims here in this video or anywhere to cure you. You cure yourself a day at a time, a moment at a time, a second at a time. How do you want to see your life? What type of an outcome do you want? Do you want to be healthy? Do you want to be well? Do you want to be frantic? Do you want to be frenzied, harried, sick, worried, tortured, alienated, hiding? Or do you want to be fresh and light and free Glorious, peaceful, calm, tempered, centered, balanced. You choose how you want your life to proceed. You're in charge. It's your movie. We're all here together. We're all interconnected. We're each walking each other home, and it does take a village. So we are all here for each other. How do you want to help yourself and how do you want others to assist without escaping and avoiding, without self-belittlement? They say you write the rest of your movie, you take it from here. We come in and we offer suggestions, we offer you assistance. You have your respective spirit guides that talk to you in the ethers. So if you have a gut feeling, Follow it. If you make a misstep, you don't have to blame yourself. You can ask yourself instead, what can I learn from this? You are your best barometer. You're the one that's the decision maker. You're the gauge. If you compare yourself to other people, you start getting yourself into a hot mess. You can ask yourself who you are in relation to other, so you could have a better idea. If you're not feeling well, you could look around and see who's a good model of wellness for you. That's a great way of finding a sponsor when you're in the meetings, is taking a look around, give yourself some time, and hear people's stories, and then see who's someone that you believe you could get really good assistance from. That's the way that you can, you can compare without jumping onto someone else's path, taking their inventory, and then guilting yourself. Use it as a good tool for assistance sake. So they're clearing you. There's a big massive clearing going on. I see a lot of suffering and I see people taking time out. If you need to watch this video a few times, go for it. Um, it might take um, a, few, um, a few views to have it go in. You might hear something different each time that you watch it. Between now and when you go to sleep, sip water. It'll help flush negative energies through the physical body. Speak with someone who you can trust if you believe that you need help and you don't know how to do it yourself. Ask someone to guide you to where you need to go. You're a grand soul. 
You're not pitiful. You're blessed. You're human. You're having an earth school experience. And you knew before coming into this lifetime that it might get hairy. You knew that. There are no victims. You are smart, brave, wise soul. Do what you need to do. And I send blessings and healing to you all. So again, if you like this video, please press like, subscribe to my channel, comment below and share this video. And I will see you for the next round of the addiction series. Take care. Bye.